Here, I'll give you a second example um, of using the important formula that we came up with uh, in um, example zero. So in example zero, we derived um, this formula here, which helps us solve um, all um, first order linear differential equations. And so we're going to use it here um, as we did in example one. All right, so what we're going to do first is because in order for us to use the formula, we assumed that our equation is written in the form y prime plus uh, y prime plus um, p of x uh, times y equals g of x. What we're going to do is we're going to divide by this guy in three spots so as to get g of x and p of x correctly. Yeah. All right. So that is we're going to divide by um, one plus x squared here and then one plus x squared here and then 1 plus x squared here. So the resulting equation we're solving is actually the following, yeah? All right, let me actually make room um, with this being elsewhere, so I guess we can fit it in there. And so I'll write our resulting equation um, at the center at the top, kind of center. Anyway, it is y prime, right? This reduces, that simplifies to y prime, and then plus um, x divided by uh, 1 plus x squared, cool, and then it's um, times y, right, and then equals, and then it's going to be um, square root of, uh, and it's 1 plus x squared, right? All right, cool. That's how the right side simplifies this side. Okay, cool. So we see that g of x is root 1 plus um, x squared, and then we see that um, p of x is this. Well, um, p of x is equal to um, x over um, 1 plus x squared means that um, f of x here and here is the integral of p of x. And um, that's how we named f of x when we derived this formula in example 0. Okay, cool. So this is equal to um, the integral of this is equal to what? Isn't it um, one, one half the natural log of, um, it should be one half the natural log of, um, and then it's one plus x squared, which I don't need to put an absolute value because one plus x squared is already positive, right? It's always positive. Um, so I don't know if you could see it, but that's one plus x squared. Um, and then one half ln of in front of it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So so that's p of x, and um, so I think we've got everything, right? We've got. Well, that's not p of x. This is f of x, the integral of p of x. We've already integrated. That's p of x. Okay. Anyway, uh, we've got f of x, right? Uh, we've got uh, g of x. G of x is this, and so we're ready to start. So our formula says that y of x is equal to e to the negative of f of x, so that in this case is e to the negative of f of x is 1 half uh, ln of 1 plus x squared. Notice that we can write 1 half ln of um, 1 plus x squared um, as 1, well, ln of um, 1 plus x squared uh, to the 1 half power by the property of logarithms. Now, of course, we can interpret this to mean square root of ln of square root of 1 plus x squared, but we'll just leave it as an exponent for now instead of interpreting it as square root, that 1 half power anyway. Okay, that's because then we could write e to the negative, and then it's ln of um, 1 plus um, x squared to the 1 half, and now we could say that, oh, this negative we could put in front of the one half and that'll take care of it. That's okay. That's it. Um, I know it's not confusing for a lot of you, even if I didn't mention that in such great detail, but it's helpful to some. So, all right. Anyway, um, we have that parenthesis and then we have integral and then it's uh, e to the, this time no negative. So e to the ln of um, one plus uh, x squared to the one half. Um, and then g of x is um, square root of um, 1 plus x squared, right? That's what g of x is right there. 
and then we have d dx and then plus lambda right okay cool uh, we surely need some space so um, what do we do we get rid of this and then what um, and then I guess move this higher up somewhere okay so like where I don't know um, let's leave it here for now get rid of this or move this somewhere else yeah move that right there and then uh, move this up there all right okay let's do it let's do it let's do it okay there we are so that's y of x okay first notice let's simplify right here yeah okay um first oh no didn't mean to do that okay uh first notice that um first notice that um this negative here we could get rid of from there and put it up here and e and ln also cancel that's nice and same here that's nice so look at what y of x simplifies to so y of x is going to equal um it's just um one over uh, one plus x squared to the one half power but that's one over square root of one plus x squared so i'll just write one over square root of uh, one plus x squared yep okay and then times the integral of what uh, this is just root one plus x squared and that's root one plus x squared so when we multiply them we just get one plus x squared because it's the square root of one plus x squared times square root of one plus x squared um, dx and then plus lambda right okay cool and um, clearly uh, lambda is outside of the integral and um, equally importantly like what we're gonna get next is 1 over square root of uh, 1 plus x squared and then times and then it's gonna be um, uh, x cubed over 3 right plus um, x and then it's going to be plus a constant um, and then plus lambda, right? But we already have lambda a constant, so we'll just write plus x. But let me make my x different from lambda looking x and then plus lambda. And obviously now you can feel free to distribute this to each term. But otherwise, we can say we're done and I'm going to say we're done. Yeah, cool. So this is our solution. Keep watching. There's one more example.